In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed. You will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future. Very good. Know that every 12 months you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an excellency. While you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost a single action point. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant and electricity can be restored to Basenji. Build the roads by click dragging the line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. 
Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select Upgrade in the road menu. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map will help you see the big picture of this engine. You can also rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons or by pressing Q or E. Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months because removing UN aid workers will come with a severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. For now though, I think we can weather it. Click on a UN camp and dismantle it. We could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Sabah. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basenji Civil War. The choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field, or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. For now, it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces, so you don't end up with a worker shortage. 
Excellency, Sabria, apologies for the interruption. Our military is in a state of disrepair, and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. Morning, Excellency. Youssef, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. An industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars to produce an armored bipedal tank. I may have made a big mistake. Why would anyone do that? Uh, because it's awesome? Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost system control. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security. Thankfully, we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units. Including whatever that thing is. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the target. Excellency? Excellency? On our way. Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully... Thank you. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions, I never stopped to think if I should. Right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Setting our tax policy to be regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely Maybe we can win back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regress it now. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank that means that much to you, but will probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Ministers who are not given research priorities will create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. We should suggest policy opportunities for the remaining three ministers to research now.
Great. Research will be conducted faster when the Minister has a great deal of respect for you. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunity to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasure. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's be because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking up loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find the resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. We should create a survey of money to scout for new resources. Resources will eventually make it possible for us to sell more complex products for our cities. But for now, we can export these raw materials to a neighbor if the demand exists. Click on the palace at Mijimara by either finding it on the map or clicking on the palace fast access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. <laughs> 